morning y'all morning anyways i'm just coming on here to say that we made it back safe and sound we got back in the city yesterday at about four o'clock it's tuesday i'm getting ready for work um i'm tired so i'm taking an uber to work this morning um i'm outside getting some fresh air because the weather isn't nice i'll put on i'll go find some sandals go put on go where to work but um didn't get to close off the vlog but yeah had an amazing time guys had an amazing time like it literally felt like we were on a vacation and i love that for us like i feel like everybody had the same sentiments that they really really needed that time away it's so good to get out of the city like i don't know how to explanation it but that was so good and i'm so happy we did it i normally complain that i don't get to do much on my long weekends and i'm like i like to enjoy them because i get an extra day like what <laughs> like a three-day weekend maybe i need to be outside so it was really really good so freaking good we're already planning the next one so you know y'all will be back and coming along with that i'm sorry if i didn't get as much footage as i should have but i was really just living in the moment it was my first time going to a cottage or being in that area so yeah i was just in the moment but yeah, see what your girl, okay? Um, a lot has transpired so I picked up the camera uh, not last week week before last saying that I was gonna start back vlogging not that I initially stopped but they're all old so I was gonna start with uh, up to date you know weekly vlog and I took you guys in the bathroom to do my lashes and the camera dropped and I went to my cameraman to see if he could repair it and because I think most of you guys know I have two of the same camera that I was currently using because I went to Jamaica so I'm not with you I went to Jamaica and um, I think it was the day that we went to Puerto Seco somehow like water got into the camera like from like a bottle like from the outside of a bottle and it messed up um the lens so i had to get a new camera so i always kept that second one just in case i ever needed to repair my camera i could use it for parts which worked out in my favor the last time that i needed to fix my camera this camera has only ever had to be not this camera my other camera only had to be fixed <laughs> my other camera only ever had to be fixed um one time ever since i had it and um yeah like i loved that camera it was so compact it was perfect but i do feel like my quality could have been a lot better and um there was a lot of things that was happening with it like the lens wasn't working properly 
Um, when it started up, it, 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 you had to start it a certain type of way because it wouldn't start just by the power button. Um, it doesn't charge. So like I literally have to charge my batteries like on my uh, battery charger. What else? Once you move it, like I couldn't move, adjust it while it was on on a tripod. So like if it's on a tripod and it's on, I can't adjust it because it will shut down. And then you guys know I used to say like my footage didn't save and stuff like that. Those were the reasons why. So I feel like all in all, I needed a new camera and I just feel like if it maybe didn't fall, I would have never had the urgency to go and get a new one. So I feel like everything happens for a reason. I was bummed out because who wants to spend that much money but it's an investment and i was saying this the other day like on my tiktok when i was talking about a nail tech story horror story well a bad nail experience that i had recently experienced and i was just like when you have a craft or you're in business for anything you always need to elevate um and upgrade so that your um either your clients or your audience it's not um, affected by the stuff that you're putting out or the stuff that you're doing. So, all in all, got a new camera, we have a new baby. Um, I have a new y'all, thank God. And I love her, like I love her. I can I can record in 4K. Like I was literally looking at my footage, my, foot, my, footage, my footage back from the cottage because I did record the cottage stuff before this. But um, I was looking back at my cottage footage and I was just like, damn. Um, this clean Jesus so super happy um I got it at a really good deal so I'm happy about that and yeah but anyway oh babe speaking of which you know say you're wicked all right guys I'm about to make some dumplings so coming some dumpling with me Just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out But got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me Now I can't remember Ooh, who I am, what I like, what I do What I'm like, when without you Ooh, should've known you're too good to be true You don't come around here no more Why'd you have to let me go? Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Shut up. Is anybody, is your name, guys? Exactly. It's 9.39 at night on Thursday, May the 23rd. I just came to show you guys what I bought for dinner or what we're having for dinner. Um, yeah, Wendy's for dinner. I had a coupon. Can you bring me a spoon when you're coming, please? Um, Y'all, I want to tell you that that little cottage getaway like literally felt like Y'all a vacation. I'm tired. I'm pregnant. Oh, shh. Shh, shh. What is the forever, babe? 
Um, was for the kids. What you call it? Yeah, the the little cottage getaway felt like a vacation. Like you know when you come back from a vacation and you need time to like recuperate and like get back to regular life. I feel like we needed. I feel like we needed that extra day. Like maybe that drive, as much as it didn't feel that long, like it was long. It was long. It was a lot of travel. Six hours traveling time, basically. So. Yeah, so tonight nobody cooked. Oh, yeah. Wendy's for dinner. Two chicken sandwiches and some fries and um having their white chocolate strawberry frosty. This was really good the last time I got it and it didn't look like this. So I'm happy I got it made the right way this time. <coughs> a strawberry lemonade for the sir and uh a root beer for me. Okay. I keep looking at myself so you guys my eyes will be a little bit off i'm getting used to this camera but yeah strap i mean root beer for me babe calls it mud water i don't know why he's so rude because it tastes so freaking good like if you love root beer and dr pepper i've been seeing a lot lately on like main dangers and like tropics they've been asking like what's like the the worst drink and so many people are saying root beer and dr pepper and it's like i feel so disrespected because those are like my top five those are like my top five favorite drinks like i guess so i was born to be different that's one thing for sure but anyways y'all nothing is happening we came home we actually had a quick nap babe slept a little bit longer than me oh we're, we're tired man tired anyways before i do i'll chat off the rest of the vlog and keep on to interrupt me i'm gonna cut off i'm gonna go have my dinner take my shower and go to my bed y'all tomorrow is friday thank god i wish today was but it's not can't get too can't ask for too much it's already a short week so i'm grateful for that but tomorrow is friday like it's so good ruby is so good but anyway Tomorrow's Friday, Miguel for come home and come home in bed, come sleep. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right through. I have one order to have done for this week. And but it's gonna be an easy peasy project, so yeah. Probably take you guys along with that because she is a supporter. So I can show how I made her 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 objects. But yeah, guys, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Toodles yeah because it changes back so i'm so confused y'all my my camera is stressing me out right now i'm trying to put these footage on my computer and baby they're showing up as photos instead of videos baby i'm stressed stressed <laughs> good morning oh. morning y'all it's sunday and this guy wants an omelet and there's certain things that joel won't like he prefers that i cook rather than exactly. him, rather than him omelets are one of them so he just went and picked up the ingredients mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go ahead and do this i have a nail appointment this morning queen <laughs> yep that i'm super excited about queen. because i am collaborating with a company <laughs> on some like nail products so i'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit but let me make this man's breakfast. You know what they say? Um, wife duties. Wife Happy duties. life, happy life. No, there was like happy. happy. Oh, no, it's happy house, happy spouse. Oh, or happy you know, spouse, happy house. Yeah, I'm Happy one spouse, one. happy house. I like that because it's, it's always one-sided. So exactly. I like the happy. I think it's happy spouse, happy, happy house. house. No, happy house, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, happy spouse, happy, happy house. house. Yeah. Happy spouse, happy house, happy. Yeah. yeah. So, let me fill the man belly so we have a happy house. Let me fill the people. <laughs> so good. Ah! Yo, come on, let's say one side in the room. Very. Babe, 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 babe. I'm going to strangle you because I don't understand why up here so obvious. Babe, like your father is having a little bit of a mushroom plate here in this drain. You know me, I'm going to feed everything in there. Here in this drain. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to have to think about it. Hmm. Yeah, 
know what I mean? And you buy an egg when we mash up. You know, look for an egg before you buy it. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Can I use that on the boot? You don't see it? Mm-hmm. You crack already. Oh, man. I want to drop out of the fold body first. What? Alright, y'all. So, I'm about to... It's what now? Holy shit, 12.42. I gotta get ready and go to my nail appointment. But um, I'm gonna be using these new polishes that I got from this company named uh, Madame Glam New York. Yeah, so they sent me over some polishes. Ooh! I'm excited. Y'all know me, I love my colors. So I got this one. Focus now. Okay, I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay, I got this color. <clears throat> this one is called uh, Lucky Charm. So Lucky Charm. I got this one that's Bright Honey. Bruh. Bright Honey. I love this one. Honest Sky. Pretty blue. Pistachio, freaking love this green. Y'all know I'm currently obsessed. <laughs> and I got a pink, AMR. So I got those. Um, and then they also sent me over the Soak Off No Wipe Top Coat and a Peel Off base coat i'm gonna bring these along with me just in case because i don't know if they need that one if my nail tech's gonna need that one specifically to use with this one and then they also sent me a mini uv lamp so i do have a discount code i have a code as well i will put the code in the description box and by clicking the code you don't have to put in the coupon code it will automatically be applied and if you don't want to sign up as a vip member you can just use the pay as you go option on checkout but check them out if you guys are nail girlies like myself um and if you're tired of maybe the same nail colors that you're using at your salon and you want to try some other gels and stuff like that so i'm super excited about this i'm gonna go and head over to my nail appointments and i will see you guys there i have a few designs in mind and i'm excited because it requires a lot of colors so <laughs> let's see so let's see okay all i need it I'm gonna put on the new nails and then when I'm doing the design I'll come back. <laughs> I think I put, I'm, I'm, I'm deciding between two right now but when I figure it out I'll come back and show y'all. Thank you, Queen, and thank you, Madame Slam, for really getting ice to these. Mm -hmm. 
Kagyal Thirsty. Bad. Thirsty bad. So yeah. I'm gonna pick up two little things and then head back home because it's already after two o'clock and I told babe that I wanna go on a walk. So I need to go home, finish cook, do all of that stuff and then come. Come back home. Thank you. And then come back home. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, but bye. Nails are done. <laughs> bye. Bumbo. The eyes, Lord God. I tried to be your everything, gave my everything. I sold out. Now just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left. Hollow, emptied out. What got lost can't be found. You stole every bit of me. Can't remember Ooh, Who I am, what I like, what I do What I'm like, when without you Should've known you're too good to be true You don't come around here no more Why'd you have to let me go? Let me go, go, go You don't think about me no more Why can't I just let it go? Let it go, go, go Why'd you have to show me? Hey guys, so I just wanted to come and show you guys the finished product. So she watched my Cuber vlog where I um, big up Jade. She's a subscriber. Um, she's a supporter, but she always supports my business as well. So big up her. Um, but yeah, she's seen my Cuber video where I made the gift bags for my girls. So she decided she's going on a trip. So she decided to do some for herself and I guess a friend that she's going on the trip with. So they got the tote bags. They got tumblers customized. And then she also got the slippers as well so it has their name and then punta cana 2024 and yeah so cute i hope you have an amazing trip girl hope you have an amazing trip <laughs> babe seen the bags and was like hold on wago punta mwago somewhere so mwago somewhere so but yeah, um, what? Lucky. Anyways, uh, it is now almost seven o'clock. I gotta run outside and pick up something, but I wanted to go on a walk, but it didn't look like that's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, I need to go outside, pick up something, come in for my clothes, and figure out what I'm doing with my hair and do my lashes for this week. So, still got a little bit more to do, but taking y'all along, and then that's gonna be it for this week. I need to edit too, but that took off a way till tomorrow because I needed to finish the shizzy this week, so had to do that today but yeah so happy that my nails are finally done y'all like oh 
I gotta do this again with some brighter colors. Not saying that these aren't, because when she did the first coat, I was like, mm. Mm. but now baby I love them like I just want to do stuff with my hands now just to you know ah! but yeah I'll be back <laughs> hi guys we are starting really late it's Wednesday but let's see what we get into for the rest of the week maybe this won't be a weekly vlog maybe this will be a compilation of a few days in my life but it's May 29th and I'm about to start working on my mom's birthday gift. She's not talking to me right now, but I'm still gonna get her a gift, um, ish. So yeah, I wanna make a flower bouquet. So that's currently what I'm working on. And you guys might think I'm joking, but she's seriously not talking to me. Why is she not talking to me? I don't know. Am I going to figure it out? No, because she's grown. She should be able to communicate and tell me why if I did something to her, which I can honestly say, I ain't do nothing. I didn't do shit. So if she wants to be in her feelings, go ahead and be there. She can be there by herself. I'm good over here. My conscience is clear and all of that. So as I said, I am going to try and attempt to make a flower bouquet. Um, so y'all, this has been on my balcony for some time. That's why you can see this is brown while the rest is green. Sun, sun, but may I use it? Um, why don't I just put the vase? Hold on. I need my vase here to hold it while I assemble. So I have that. I had these flowers from... I want to say it was when I wanted to do my anniversary thing. But I don't think that's when I bought them. I think I bought these to do a card box for somebody's wedding. And the wedding never happened due to COVID. So I was going to use them for my anniversary party thingy that I had. But never ended up using them. So I'm going to use them for this bouquet. Yeah, I see nothing where you can take these out and add the take these parts of the flower out and add skewers. But then I also seen another one where they just put a few together and centered it and add the skewers to elongate it that way. For the middle portion and then i'm doing the money the, the money around it so i was on instagram and i seen this girl no was i on instagram or was i on tiktok i don't remember craft stuff just be on my for you page because that's my life um but i seen where this girl she makes them using fake dollar bills so that you don't have to go through the trouble of unraveling dollar bills um, or whatever the case may be my mom is supposed to be going to a dinner or something that's what my niece said so um i'm just gonna send my niece a hundred dollars so that she can pay for her dinner i'm pretty sure her bill's not gonna come to more than a hundred dollars if it does i'll pay whatever the difference is but that would be my gift to her like go out and eat and i'll pay for it um and then she can keep this bouquet as is and doesn't have to worry about unraveling it and then because i figured it's gonna be a hundred dollars i'll just give her the hundred dollars anyways um I have some other stuff to give her that's why i'm only gonna i'm just giving her the money to go to dinner like i'm not giving my mama money for her birthday it's, it's specifically for dinner because if it was for her birthday she'd be getting more than a hundred dollars but um she uses the fake bills as i was saying so i went on amazon we're not in america but baby canada doesn't have like the options for the bill it's like america does but anyways i went on amazon and i found these fake um bills so I'm going to use these and it's $100 because that's what I'm going to give her. So I'm going to use these. So basically what I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and um, wrap them up. I'm supposed to, I think the tutorial that I seen used 50. So I'm going to use 50 of them and see what I can do and kind of get the road on the show. I got the paper for it today for to wrap the bouquet. So yeah one two three four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. I just want to separate all 50 because I like to see when my piles are going down. I know that I'm reaching my goal rather than when I just have one big pile and I'm just pulling from it and I don't know when the end is near. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Fifty. All right, y'all. So these are the stats of stack I'm gonna be going with, and I have my skewers here. I have my tape here, and this here. I'm about to put on a show and go ahead and start fold folding. Let's go. First ten. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys, that's twenty. Don't mind that. Over, don't mind that over there. Okay? Yeah, that's twenty. Y'all, that's thirty. Forty, y'all. Okay, I'm getting faster. What time is going? It's uh, nine twenty-two. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, time more to go. I do have to pause because I forgot to make my breakfast and um, something to eat. So I'll be back when I finish the 50. I don't think I'm going to be able to start assembling anything tonight. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. But yeah. I mean, I will carry on in the kitchen with me because it's just some basic ass stuff I'm about to go do. I'm just going to make a waffle some bacon and my chicken burger and some fries okay i'll be right back bye <laughs> yo it's finally finished all 50. i feel like i could do more and make it super bigger but we'll see when i add the little roses inside or around it and stuff like that we'll see play around with it i'll do that tomorrow because baby girl is tired but that's what 50 look like Aww. Okay. Hi guys. So we're back. Day two. I just got home. Hi. Happy Thursday. Oh. So yeah, I just got home. I got a package today. I got a case for my camera. Oh. I don't have to be super delicate with you guys. Can't take no boat, no. <laughs> Before I had, used to have to be super gentle with my camera. I used to have to like put it down like this. If I wanted to touch it, I would have to stop what I recorded, um, save it, and then move it just in case. Now, hey, hey. I can't talk to you. But anyways, I got this off of Amazon. I'll put it in my Amazon storefront in case you have the same camera as me and you're interested in getting some accessories for it. But I learned my lesson. I had a case the last time, but it wasn't like a it was like a travel case. So like when you need to use the camera, you have to take your camera out of it. And I found that very annoying. 
um, because like if I just really want to shoot something right away, I would have to like take it out and put it on the tripod, all of that kind of stuff. I'm so happy how this camera is made. Like where the tripod um, part is to screw on, you can get into the battery area and SIM card area, I mean memory card area without even touching it or taking it off. So, so happy. So this um, case came with a glass screen protector. Hello, that was my selling point. That was my selling point and the fact that um, this one had like the built-in lens part. So I really and truly, and this can come off, yes. So I really and truly do not have to do anything. The only thing though, is this is hella bright. Um, hi, why am I gonna do that for? This is hella bright, so. It may get dirty easily. But we never want black, but I'm black. If you know me, you know I'm Brad. <laughs> Anyways, let me put, let me put y'all on and come back. Hold on. And here we are. Yeah, if you know, you know. Yellow baby, I love it. Uh, and the screen protector is on, y'all. Wait. Y'all gonna be able to see it? The screen protector is on as well. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see it on. Yeah, it's as far as it's going, but the screen protector is on as well. So, yeah. Talk to my god. Talk to my god, people. Talk to my god. Yeah. Be a protection. Be a protection. Cover me camera. Cover me lord. Yeah. Write this song. Ah! I'm so happy, y'all. You don't even understand. <laughs> this feels like it's a little bit biggish in some places, but hey. Protected nonetheless. I'm about to take a quick little nap and then start on this flower bouquet and try to finish this up so yeah i'll be back And I'm done. Not bad for my first time. I feel like I need to get a little bit better with placements, but honestly, you guys, not bad. Now, I was asking Babe if I should do like a row of like red roses around it. I wonder how many more I have. Um, I'm gonna try it. And, and see how it looks. I feel like the another set of red will just make it pop and be a little bit wider as well. But I didn't use all the bills. I still have a few left over, but um, I like it. So all that's left to do is wrap it and then I wanna make like a little uh ribbon i still gotta go get it and my mom's birthday's tomorrow y'all but she gonna have to get this on saturday or something but um yeah i want to get a ribbon and write happy birthday i'll probably put her name instead of mom um and yeah or i don't necessarily have to use ribbon if i have cardstock i can use cardstock 
And I might have some glitter cardstock as well, but I'm gonna let me glue the sticks on and um, see if I can make this thing. Oops. All right, guys. So I used some of the ones that I had that were left over from what I was gonna use in the center. And you see what I mean? I think I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna continue. It's just gonna give it that extra oomph. I'm gonna continue. Y'all, if your mom, like, my mom is a, like a figurine lady. Like she likes things put up in her house. Like she likes to have things and have dust take it over, mildew take it, everything. You can't tell her nothing about her things. She have to have her things. So I know this will be perfect for her. Like she'll love this. She'll put it in a vase and she'll keep it for the rest of her life. So that's why I'm doing it this way so that she don't have to unravel any bills and keep the bills. Cause then after that, it's like, you don't have a bouquet. She can keep this forever and just know that she got this for her 70 whatever it is birthday. <laughs> I don't even put her business out there. 70 something birthday. And um, yeah, she'll have this to look at every day and be like, oh my God. Anytime anybody comes to her house or she'll be walking around with them like, oh my God, it's all exotic. I remember my balance. Yeah, that is Nora. That is my mom. The black paint switch. Yeah. 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 What's this one? Yeah. Y'all ready? Like, can you imagine posting up with this? Okay. Now that the hardest part is over. Tomorrow, me will come and um, do the wrapping because that's a whole nother story on itself, and I need to get the ribbon as well. So, yeah, but um, that is Thursday. Thank God it's Thursday. I'm so ready for the weekend. I want come, like y'all. I'm tired. Hey, to all oh, me tired. Me I go bed. I'm come come go bed because I was falling asleep on the way home today. I was falling asleep at my desk today. Like tired drains energy gone tomorrow later will be greater <laughs> y'all gonna have to put some respect on my name when it comes to this diy game okay now y'all the paper isn't fully down yet like wrapped but bit Hello, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. I have to do this the bottom part, but y'all. Ah! Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>